to me, that's limiting again. To me, I would like the demographic to be, yes, not only those in the church, but I also want to reach those that are in the street that don't know God or may not even have a knowledge of a creator, let alone who Jesus Christ is. So the demographic I'm trying to reach is not accurately represented in the term holy hip-hop. And lastly, why um, I don't really identify with that term holy hip-hop, the label holy hip-hop, it's because I believe, and I believe a lot of y'all out there believe the same thing, but you're just a little afraid to say it, is that there's a lot of legalism in our genre. What started out as a very innovative and expressive and creative way to express our faith in Jesus Christ has become or is becoming more and more legalistic. There's people that say, holy hip-hop, if you're in holy hip-hop, you need to sound like this or you need to sound like that. And if you sound like that over there, you're not holy hip-hop. Frontliners have had their fair share of critics. That's cool. It's music. I feel holy hip hop, the label, the genre on, you know, the label that's on this genre comes with its own preset, defined terms of how you need to rap, how you need to sound, what you need to say, and if you don't sound like this person over here, then you're not really part of holy hip hop. To me, I'm not with all of that, okay? So you just heard that video. What do y'all think? What, Jeremiah, get back to Mike. What you doing? What do you think? Uh, y'all got me in circles. Um, I think it's cool. Um, I think what he said was accurate to, to a point of the whole um, thing of holiness and how the world sees holy versus how we see holy. Now, would you categorize your music as holy hip hop? Um, I wouldn't say it's holy hip hop, and people may put that in a box. I would say it's hip hop, but it's gospel. Okay. That's what I would say, you know. So it's not like a, it's not like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in every line, but it's, but it gives you a message of hope. It gives you a message of his biblical principles. So, so yeah, that's pretty much that's what I say about that. Now, if you had a choice, would you put your like if they said where would you want us to put this album in in Walmart? Where would you put it? Um, the hip hop section, because I mean, the thing is, it's it's hip hop still, but it's like um. It's still it's gospel, but it's hip hop still. So okay. it's like um like I told somebody recently, I said it's almost like um, even though some like a Fifty Cent, people know Fifty Cent, they put them in that box of a gangster rapper or a Talib Kweli as a conscious rapper. You still gonna get that label. So it's like if I if I rap, yeah, but there's says, but there's not gospel. a section at Walmart called gangster rap. No, it's just rap. That's what I'm saying. It's just Christian hip hop. I mean, it's just hip -hop. But it sounds like we're trying to make a new label in in um the store. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, um, I think that's where we kill it. I think, and I think what he said was right. It's like we have people in that genre. We put people in that box so we can say, "Hi, we're holy hip hop, and we're this, and we're that, and we're this." You know, so um, that's pretty much that, man. All right, I think we got Ryan back on the phone. What's going on, man? Good, good. You guys uh, wrapping up the topic? Or you still yeah, we still in it. Um, we just played the clip um, from the guy with the frontliners and his opinion of holy hip hop. What do you think? What did he say? He was saying basically that holy hip hop is a limited title. Um, when we say holy, we mean that we're set apart and we're trying to be like Jesus. But the world, when they hear the word holy, it sounds like we're trying to be better than them and that we think we're all that. I think that that's definitely um, a way that it can be misconstrued um, it, because, you know, if you're not a Christian, if you're not a believer, it is hard to understand that we are just regular people outside of the walls of the church or outside of what they have in their mind conjured up the church to be. Or not even say conjured up. The church is given a bad image of the church. So... I can understand the non-believer being like turned off and you say, yeah, I'm a holy hip-hop artist or I'm holy. And then, you know, you get the term holier than thou, holy rollers. It, it's a bad connotation that goes along with it. So um, I, I, I think I haven't heard the whole clip, but when you broke it down, that I was just kind of sitting in my mind saying, yeah, I, I can see that. I can totally see that. Uh, we got to... We got another clip, which is which is interesting as well. Um, I'll let Danye set it up. Um, but yeah, basically, my question is then is 
for people like Jeremiah, um, Just One, all these people that got music that's coming out soon, what should they categorize it as? Man, I mean, I like what you said, like inspirational hip hop, positive hip hop. Um, maybe, you know what? Maybe we need to find the perfect word, and the track stars will relabel Christian entertainment as that word. You know how we retired stuff about a month ago? Yeah. We need to come up with a new word for that and be like, this is the new brand name for the type of music or entertainment that we bring to the table. Why are you shaking your head? We just need to find a good word. I do. I don't agree because I think that when we put labels on stuff, people automatically are gonna tune it out. Like if you go to the store, if you're not, if you're trying to read somebody that's not safe, you're not gonna go to the Christian rap or the inspirational rap section. It should just be plain hip hop. Like if you see a CD that looks attractive, you pick something up, you just pop it in, and you don't know what it is, you're more inclined to like it if you just happen to pick it up and listen to it. Whereas I'm not gonna go to the section that says Christian hip hop. But if I go to hip hop or somebody passes me a cd and says this is a hip hop cd i'm not coming in there with a preconceived notion of what's going to be on oh this is going to be whack so i mean it's it's hip hop there isn't a muslim rap section there isn't a vegetarian rappers i mean why do we have to what? force <laughs> labels on something we shouldn't have to tag it as christian <laughs> hip hop christian <laughs> business plan we don't christian, make cheese. you know it's like we everything has cheese. to be christian this inspirational that i mean you have just as much entitlement to the hip hop genre as the most gangster rapper out there. So you don't have to put a tag before it. You're hip hop. You're R and B. You're country. Country music is not it doesn't have to be secular. Rap music doesn't have to be secular. It's rap. You're rapping, so rap. It doesn't have to be Christian rap. That's how I feel. Well said, Lauren. Well said. I agree with I that. Don't, I don't I don't hundred percent agree just because I think that you're looking at a label that was given to us. If we take our own label and run with it, we're we're innovators of this music industry and not so much followers. We're not following. And I think that we need a fresh new vibe for people to be able to open up to what we're trying to do. We're not I following. If, I don't I think, think so. The reason I say that, the reason I say that is because if that were the case, we would be, you know, the crazy music would be on 107.9. It wouldn't be just on, you know, well, on the Kelco show. It needs to be on 107.9. It wouldn't just be on Christian Entertainment show. It, it needs be to be on 107.9. On it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have just appeared on 106 and Park one time. It would be there for good. So I think that you putting it under hip-hop, it's just going to get lost. It's going to stay lost. It's not going to get lost. It's going to make an impact. Most people want to get their it's stuff on 107.9. I'm not going to know to go pick up the CD. If, I can't if, it's, on one, if it's on 107.9 and, and, and you like it, you're just going to buy it. And these are two hosts of our show that's arguing. Not you're not going to. And nothing like that. <laughs> that's most, Ryan Righteous and Lorna Mati arguing. I mean, most rappers, their goal, if you're a rapper and you're a Christian, your goal is that you're saying that you want to reach the people, you want to reach the lost. So if your music gets lost in there and people dig it, then you're sending a message. Now, the thing is, is that you have to know where you are. That's the risk. Yeah, if you don't have the like integrity to do that. You go to Best Buy, there's a million artists that just got a distribution deal that sit on the shelf, and we never know who they are because then their music never makes radio. Okay. Now, I mean, we live in a media-driven society. If our music doesn't have its own platform to get played, it's not going to get but played. But nobody it's is buying it. Played, it's not gonna nobody is buying it because it's categorized. The only people that CD are the 2,000 people that Jeremiah may have met in his lifetime. No, so nobody's we're, we're not listening get to it if it's categorized. I just want to or the Dirty Boys to go out and buy his CD if they don't know. I buy that in the name of Jesus. We're going to have every dirty boy getting the... I'm sorry. Yeah, I um, think you have more option to get your stuff out there. If somebody just happens to pick up something and says, Oh, I like this. This is hot. And then on the back end, if they find out, Oh, wow, this artist is a Christian. Not this is a Christian artist. Or oh, this person lives a lifestyle this way. You put yourself in an area where you can become an example for somebody. More so than already trying to force a label down somebody's throat. So one, how are they going to know that? Just interviews and talking to people. You get to know people. You become personable and approachable and you talk to them. You're still not giving it a platform. When you're you're preaching down someone's throat, they don't want to hear that. I'm sorry. Any other radio show right now is because we're trying to give a platform. to. But we're too busy uh, trying to get a platform for stuff that most artists don't live up to anyway. To 
a different a different a different way of uh, entertainment. We're trying to talk ourselves up to be holier than now, just like that clip was saying. Right, and yeah. then on the fruit is not real. So it's like you get a whole bunch of artists that have said, "Oh, I'm Christian. I'm I'm holier. I'm holy. I'm this and that." And then you got stuff coming out like, I mean, cheating on your wife and different stuff's been going on. So it's like if you're just a person that's approachable and you come off in a way that says i'm not perfect i do make mistakes i make this music people are more inclined to listen to you and respect you because you're being real 